Hi and welcome Libra, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your November 2020 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, believe what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you rock and awesome. Love your support. And if you do regularly follow me, haven't yet subscribed, just suggest you hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button to make sure my videos are coming through to you in your feed. You can also stay connected with me on Instagram. I'll pop my Instagram handles on here. I do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. And if you enjoy the Oracle and Tarot decks I use in my readings, I will list them down below for you. You can also find them in my crystal shop along with some beautiful crystals as well as crystal jewelry. And uh, I've also just released the brand new Warrior Spirit Active Wear for Women. Gorgeous, vibrant printed leggings as well as uh, tanks, sports bras and jackets for working out. And uh, I'll pop a coupon code on here so you can get 15% off during November. Uh, if you're interested in going and checking those out. I'll also put everything you need to know in the description box below. All right, let's get started with your reading. So we're going to do something a little bit differently, but we're going to pull some opening energies, firstly from the Enchanted Map Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. Ah, you've pulled goblins, which is very much about things coming up from the past for you. It can be fears, it can be concerns, it can be old patterning, karmic patterning. And it's about facing those goblins versus them taking over your life and um, imprinting on the present. Yeah, uh, it's very much about facing it, very much the shadow side or just repeated ways in which you self-sabotage yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to pull you some energy from the uh, wisdom of the hidden realms. Message direct from spirit. Ah, oh, beautiful. You've pulled the diamond dreamer, all about material wealth, prosperity coming your way. Uh, it's very much about those things you've been working on you've, that are in gestation, that you're working hard at, all coming together along with the universal source energy, spirit backing you yeah, to bring the synchronistic things into your life. It's number six representing love and abundance. Yeah, Dare I say that you've got five and six here. Uh, you've got contrasting energy. So in order for this prosperity to come through to you, you've got to let go of the past, take a leap of faith, go after your goals and dreams. Do not let fear and doubt hold you back from it. Mm -hmm. And in terms of your general energies, we're going to pull you essential energy from the Journey of Love Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Libra. <laughs> I'm laughing, right? Because I didn't think I'd shuffled enough. And I've shuffled again and the same card has come out, which means um, you really need to hear it. Yeah, It's number 10, by the way, which represents um, everything coming together for you. It's the uh, message on the card is three to one. There's actually a family here. Um, there's a couple holding a baby. Mm -hmm. And let's pull you up the message. It's always funny when spirit goes, no, that is the message. You need to share it. So here we go. It says, Libra, there is a heavenly child in your midst. It may be within your heart, in your womb, or a glimmer in your eyes, soon to be. This child holds the key to fulfillment of a process that's happening for you now. The child might be a physical culmination of your marriage or commitment to another. It might be a symbolic birthing of a new self at this time. A time of learning to bring your male energies of protection and discernment together with your feminine energies of feeling and creativity whether within yourself or within your relationship with another. The child might symbolically be a new life, an improved relationship, a book, a new job, a completely renewed way of dealing with what was once a challenging issue, which will soon not be an issue for you anymore, just to name a few. From masculine to feminine to child, there is just now one, a new reality dawning with grace. And this oracle brings a message for you. New life is upon you now. You are being reborn and you will give birth to what is meant for you in this lifetime. There is no need to worry. Just pray with an open heart that you will be supported to fulfill your destiny. You already are, of course, but prayer can help you realize it. The rest is in the loving and capable hands of the divine. 
And uh, there's a poem here which says, Love is what makes the heart beat faster, the lump in my throat, the feeling of missing you so much that I can't wait to be with you again. And then we are, and I look deep into your eyes, and I know the unspoken words that say, I love you, and feel words in return. How short each lifetime seems, but what I feel with you lasts forever. May love be the compass that guides you on the course of a lifetime. Very beautiful. So it's going to mean different things to each of you in terms of the birth of a new you, a relationship, a child, all sorts of things, yeah? All right, in terms of your general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for the Sacred Destiny Oracle, and then pull you lots of clarifiers. You pulled the truth, which is, um, I have to say there's a tree here, which kind of looks like it's in a storm, yeah, a lot of wind going around. So it's seeing the truth in the situation. A truth may be revealed to you. There may be a truth about self you need to see. What else does Libra need to know? Thank you. Ah. You feel transformation, beautiful butterfly representing change, new beginnings. Not surprised that's come out. You've also pulled adventures, which is very much about getting out of your comfort zone, trying new things. Bringing more adventure, joy and fun into your life. What else does Libra need to know? Thank you. Uh, you've also pulled standstill, meaning you may be uh, feeling a little bit stuck right now. If you have a look at this, I'll bring it close. It's actually an egret, yeah, standing in the water. It's looking at those areas in your life where you feel that there's a blockage or an obstacle exploring it and figuring out a way to move through it, past it, around it, to move forward. It's come out hand in hand with patience. You're having patience with yourself at this time. And also, when you do, have a look at the birds flying, not stuck anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to pull you some clarifiers with the uh, energy oracle. First up, we're having a look at the truth. What is it Libra needs to know? Got your community here. So it may be exploring your connections. Are they serving you? Um, are there people you need to cull from your circle? Do you need to spend more time in your friendships? You've also got indecision. Do I go left? Do I go right? Um, it could be finding the truth in your own heart about what feels right for you. And uh, can be creating some anxiety for you at this time, this indecision, this confusion. Because mm, you've got a storm warning going on, kind of reflects what's going on around that tree. Let's pull you some clarifiers. Why is the indecision and the storm warning here? Okay. You've got blossoming abundance. So you may be worrying that whatever you're doing in terms of trying to create your money flow, you might be putting a lot of effort in, not seeing a lot of signs of return. Here it's saying trust, yeah, trust. When the blossoming abundance comes in, it means that um, you, not to give up, keep working on what you're working on. And uh, you've got your emotions here, so it's very much about bringing yourself back to a state of balance and harmony within your emotions versus letting them all run all over you. Yeah, Don't forget you pulled the goblins card, which is those things coming up for you that you need to face. All right, let's have a look at transformation. What is it Libra needs to know? Clear message. You've got the temple path, so you've got beautiful orbs of light surrounding you, watching over you. Part of your transformation may be, you may be going through a spiritual awakening, more connectedness to your angels, your spirit guides, getting into higher states of consciousness. You've also got a man holding a heart, so this can represent a love interest. Guys, it can be you being open, ready for love. Sitting under anxiety, so for some of you, where you're entering into new love relationships and stuff's coming up for you in terms of fear and doubt around self are things you need to look at, particularly the girls, I'm going to say. 
And uh, you've also got the journey card, which also represents transformation. Yeah, it can mean a physical journey. All right, let's have a look at adventures. You got all tied up and feeling a little bit stuck. That's why the standstill card's there. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you're holding yourself back a bit from life. And uh, you've got financial constraints here. So you may be worrying about your money. Um, there's a big message coming through. You just need to get out of your emotions and into your higher states of consciousness. Yeah, because right next to that, you've got your root chakra, yeah? Your basic sense of security, stability, your home, your food on your table, your finances. Mm, wow. Wow. You just about pulled every single card related to feeling stuck. Yeah, you got the card and the gate. Stuck and indecision, holding yourself back. Everything you want's on the other side of that gate. You have to have the courage, the faith, the trust in yourself to open the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also come out with victory. So when you open that gate, you will have victory, particularly over your emotions. All right, let's have a look at standstill and patience. You've got a contract coming in. So Spirit's saying there's an offer coming in. Mm -hmm. Number six again, that's two sixes, right? Two sixes representing material wealth, true prosperity. Okay. You've also got hostilities here. So dare I say it may be in your friendship circle. Watch that. Um, it can be affecting your vitality or may need to build up your vitality. So there's a lot going on here, Libra, in terms of you've got all your lower chakras here. Yeah. So despite whatever challenges are going on in your life, spirit saying you need to look after your health, your well-being. Mm -hmm. Watch your emotions, watch what you're saying to yourself, watch stuff coming up from the past that you constantly recycle through. Let's put you some guidance on the hostilities. What is it Libra needs to know? Clear guidance. Spirit is saying the sun will come out. There will be a big shift in energy. Also refers to your ideas and projects being blessed. Any other guidance there? Hmm. They're saying just to trust your heart. You follow your heart. You stay on the course that you're on. Don't let other people upset your energy. Let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Have a look at the top row around seeing the truth, a bit of a storm going on in your life, indecision going on, your emotions, You've got your community here. Give me a message for Libra, please. All right, you got a couple here. You've got Artemis, you've got a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you and your loved ones at this time. You've got your wisdom coming out, an owl there again represents seeing the truth in situations, trusting yourself then taking action. You've also got Diana, focused intent, which is what I said to you, is focus on those things important to keep moving forward, you'll hit your mark. Let's have a look at transformation. You've got man holding a heart here, journey that you're on, temple path, yeah, this contract. Golden opportunity coming your way. Port and doors are opening for you. Have the faith, the trust in yourself to take those opportunities. Let's have a look at adventures. You've got some worry going on here about your finances, feeling a bit tied up. You've got victory. You've got Freya, be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is you want. All right, let's have a look at your standstill, having patience with yourself, your contract coming in. Sun coming out, bit of hostilities going on. Spirit saying not to worry, yeah. You got said in an infinite supply, your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows. So stop worrying. Mm -hmm. They're watching over you. Also, got to take action. You got to move yourself out of feeling stuck. All right, let's put you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row about seeing the truth, about this storm and anxiety going on in your life. Mm. 
Some of you absolutely need to take a focus on your health, your well-being, your yeah? A-gate, healthy body. Mm -hmm. You've also got your vitality here. And uh, you've got the Herkimer Diamonds dreams. You may get subliminal messages in your dreams to help you on your path. Uh, you may have stuff come up subconsciously that you need to tackle around what's coming up for you about feeling stuck. You can be following your dreams. All right, let's have a look at your transformation. This golden opportunity coming your way. Got a love interest here. You've got amethyst. Meditation would be awesome for you at this time to soothe your energies. I will link in the guided meditation playlist here. There's lots in there. Um, pick some that are going to soothe and release stuff from self, particularly emotions. Let's have a look at adventures. Be involved. Your victory. Your finances. Hmm. Again, you got the message you need to take action yeah you need to take action and move yourself forward particularly from states of feeling stuck you got brand new beginnings that want to happen for you transformation new beginnings let's have a look at this side where you've got divine protection over your material wealth moving from stuck states mm, you also got hostility here so there is the opportunity to do relationship healing with this person spirit saying They're saying there's a need from your side to have a look at things from a different perspective of an expanded awareness. They may be going through stuff that's not related to you or this thing's coming up from, for them. When we go through transformation, it can be somebody close to you. It can be somebody not so close to you, right? When we go through transformation, it unsettles things for other people because you're rising, you're growing, you're often becoming stronger, more accomplished. You're letting your light shine in the world. People are not used to you being like that, right? So it brings up all sorts of fears within them. Uh, it's kind of a natural state of playing. Play, it can be quite unpleasant to be on the receiving end of it um, because it brings stuff up for other people. What can you do? Well, you can try and look at things from a different perspective. You can just keep in your own lane. You can put boundaries in place with this person. Mm. you got Malachite healing. So you got relationship healing and healing. For some of you, it's physical healing. There's a need for you to look at your... Uh, energy your vitality yeah i'll put you one more there mm, spirit saying just to trust it's going to blow over trust all right let's put you some guidance from the messenger oracle oh this wants to fly out this come out for a couple of signs so it can absolutely be the energy of the month yeah time to reflect Time to stop, to pause, to recognize how far you've come, how many challenges you've overcome, how much you've grown. We can often just be focused on how much there is to do. We do not have a look at how far and celebrate how far we've come. You've got here the ancient ones, your angel with your spirit guides are going to be trying to connect with you. Yeah, signs, synchronicities, changes in light quotient to let you know they're with you. And uh, you've got We Are All Connected, which is pretty much universal source energy, Mother Earth, animals, spirit, nature, humans. Mm -hmm. We're all part of the collective. Absolutely have a new day dawning, brand new beginnings that want to happen for you. All over your reading. Wow. Double confirmation to listen to your dreams, to heed your dreams, spirit saying. What's coming up for you? All right, let's pull you away. Crowning energy from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Beautiful deck by nine there, child. What is it Libra needs to know? Clear message. I'm really thinking about it. Ah, you've pulled a ball of medicine, which is medicine of the grandmother's ancient remedies coming through to you. Could directly be related to your health and well-being. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Libra, believe in the formidable power of healing, the transformation it can provide for all aspects of your being and your life. 
Medicine comes in many forms from great spirit to facilitate healing of the body, the mind and soul. Whether it is the correction of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for the practical steps to resolve a physical imbalance or a deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential. There is no limit to what can be healed through grace. A current of divine healing is flowing through to you and coming to you now. Open yourself up to participate in a beautiful healing transformation. All three reading, dare I say. It says you're on a healing journey and to put your trust in the divine genius of great spirit, the medicine of the earth through which divine healing can express itself. As you allow your spiritual connection to guide your earthly steps with synchronicity and divine intervention, you will be supported for a healing journey that will be very profound for you. This oracle indicates a healing outcome that will enhance your soul journey. Your soul has healing gifts. And if that's of interest to you, you're meant to understand how it is that you're a healer in your own unique way and how that can be part of your life journey. And the spiritual guidance is that have you been the warrior carrying on regardless of a deep wound that makes your life and work in the world more difficult? Whether the wound is of mind, body, there is guidance it's time to allow for healing. Through a healing journey, you can become free to proceed more easily, effectively and joyfully in your life's work. Grandmother medicine typically relates to the use of plants through various disciplines to promote healing of the mind and body. However, this oracle speaks of a broader perspective. It indicates a time when earthly steps on the healing journey will be supported and guided by a spirit for truly inspiring results. Heaven and earth are intersecting when this happens, the practice of very type, various types of physical world medicine can become a channel for divine blessing. And uh, it will help transform the way you see and experience the physical world. And uh, it's very much about coming into a state of wholeness, yeah? Mm -hmm. Purification, all that kind of stuff. All right, there's a healing process here which says... Connect with nature in person if possible, or by looking at images or listening to the sounds of nature if appropriate. You can also just visualize nature, yeah? Imagine, feel, or intend that you are relaxing not only in your body and mind, but your soul too. Relaxing and opening to the presence of the natural world. Allow yourself to feel held by this loving sacred energy that is the soul of the Earth Mother. And when you're ready, say the following invocation. Just listen, yeah? The divine healing presence is now created through the loving union of the Earth Mother and Great Spirit. I surrender into medicinal alchemy of divine love at work within all facets of my being now, so that any and all issues of my body, my mind and soul can benefit from this divine healing and are now blessed for recovery. Through grace of divine timing and compassion of Grandmother Healer, I ask to be shown clear steps for my healing benefit that I may experience true healing and become a channel for such true healing in the world. So be it. Relax, you've completed your healing process. Very strong message coming through, Libra. Mm -hmm. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to come and say hi on Instagram and check out the offers below. For now, much love, much light. Namaste.